Okay, we're up here in the attic now, and I'm fixing to install this UV light on the incoming side of the condenser coil here in the attic. I've already cut my holes to do this, and you use the template that is provided with it here by simply placing it up here and then taking a pin and tracing around it. It's probably best to tape this up here so that it won't slip when you're doing that. And then pull it off. Then after you've traced around it with a pin, you can take a steak knife. This is what I used because my wife's not home to get on to me for doing it. And cut this out. This is real easy to cut through, especially with a steak knife that has a serrated edge. Plus you need to get pretty deep because it's about... Let's say about an inch thick this ductwork here. After you get it cut out, you want to take your unit here before you put the bulbs in to make sure that it is going to indeed fit. And it does. So after you know that it's going to fit, you then remove the bulbs from the pack. Make sure, Try not to touch the glass part. This cardboard thing will need to come out of it too. And it, they just slip in here real easy, like that. They'll snap lock. Now, before I install it, they claim you're not supposed to do this. They want you to install and make sure uh, install this with the bulbs already in, then plug it in. I, I don't want to do that because I want to make sure these bulbs do work before I uh, plug it in. They, there's a pilot light on the back side of it, but I don't trust that pilot light because it's not, it's not an actual window showing you you know the light from the other side it's just a light so i'm going to reach over here and unplug this it's real tight up here in this attic and being in my 50s doesn't make it any easier so it is glowing and I now know that it works. See if I can get my old ass back over here. It's not good to look at this bulb. It is uh, like looking at a sun lamp. And there it is. You can take sheetrock screws just to kind of hold it in place. Have to do it real light, real light, just enough to barely keep it snug. As you are threading through foam. Yep, lost that one. But you really don't need to put four screws in it. In fact, you really don't have to put screws at all. And the reason for that is, is I didn't use it on the other side. Primarily because it, it was metal duct on the other side. Because I'm still going to use this this metal tape here, sticky on one side and aluminum on the other. Another good thing, the reason why I'm glad my wife isn't here is because I'm also using her good scissors to cut this. And you can just guesstimate on how much to cut on this, so got a length about that long. Do 
shoot short there so I put it on this top side like that stuff is fairly sticky side here and I'm out of this but it really doesn't have to be this tight I just used it because I had some left there's a reason they call duct tape duct tape and it you don't have to have scissors to even cut it you can just rip it across like that primary thing you just want to seal it to where no attic air comes in plus you have to get this back off too to replace the bulbs because I'm even going to go over that metal tape too with duct tape I need to start taking aerobics or something. Of course, you could get your wife to come up here and do this. Women are a lot more flexible than men, that's for sure. And smaller. Just like that, it's installed. It's fully installed. Now if you notice up here at the top, I wrote here what this is, UV germicidal lamp, model D200, and the date I installed it. I have an arrow pointing here because I got the other one on the other side. I got two of them up here. And you're supposed to replace the bulb every 12 months with that information there too. And one of the bulb part numbers is R18, but you should be able to find this bulb number by uh, typing in the model number. And I also took a picture of this here and also made a copy of uh, the paperwork that came with it and put it in PDF format to save my computer. I keep a file on all the home improvement projects I do so I wouldn't have to climb back up in the attic, find out what the model number is. Like I say, they claim that they, you know it's working by that blue light, but that blue light is not a reflection of the light coming from in there. It's just a LED bulb. And that's why I want to make sure that the light, the lamps do work before I install it. And you can see here on the other side, the other one I put in on the output side. So I have UV lights on both sides of this condenser coil. Or the evaporator coil, I think they call it. So I'm killing mold and mildew, bacteria on both sides of this coil. And the importance of doing that is, is to keep, once you have mold and mildew form, then dust can collect there and it will drastically reduce the efficiency of your unit up here. Now they don't take much voltage and the way to hook them up, it comes with a standard plug like a lamp plug and uh, turn this light off here so it don't blind the camera and you can buy these little adapters there at um, Ace Hardware you need to make sure that you get the socket that when you pull the chain it doesn't turn off your your UV lights and Ace has one of these models there that you can purchase that when you pull that pull chain 
it turns the light bulb off but not it doesn't turn off your UV lamps up here in the attic it's fairly simple to install it's just a bitch getting the attic that's the only thing is and hopefully you don't have a tight attic like I, I'm on a hip roof and it's real real tight up here when I was younger I could crawl around this thing and if this had been any further back I'd have had to get some youngster to come up here and do this for me but anyway my next project is you can see right here where they've tied into the duct work here and run the the lines through it and that's not a very good seal because it's pulling in air up here in the attic so what I'm going to do now is remove all that tape and I got a can of that great stuff there and fully seal this here because it's expanding foam and it should seal it pretty well so anyway I'm going to go down and drink some water and cool off and do that next hope this video helps you pretty much all you need is a pair of scissors steak knife and duct tape and that's pretty much it your done deal